another way of using shared parameters. Uh, it's a grid. So, for example, uh, sometimes we need to use two or more grid labels, uh, grid names. Uh, for example, when we have uh, a big building and we have a grid number uh, on entire our building site and uh, an other number in the correct building uh, part, building section. Uh, so, if you want to do this, or maybe uh, you can add uh, the same grid numbers, for example, using this way, you need to fix your grid. So, as we've seen, I'll check uh, this family grid head, go to annotation grid head, say edit, and for example, I want to add a new name. here. So, I create a label, place, but say, add a parameter, shared, and uh, edit. I say new, grid, second number. Discipline common. Uh, type, it's, uh, if you uh, know that you will be used just number, it's number, or it's text, oh, I use text, all right, all right, okay, and, uh, ah, sorry. And I created this parameter, and now I need to select it, press OK, OK, and add it to my grid. For example, B, это будет, this will be any letter. And load into project. All right, and now I just loaded my tag, but uh, this my project uh, doesn't know about new parameter, so I go to manage, but now I have, uh, I created my shared parameter, so I don't need to go to shared, I just go to project parameter and add this shared para, uh, sorry, and uh, add this shared parameter to my project grid second number. And of course, I need to select the category it's grids and uh, group uh, identity data, data. Okay, okay, and uh, now let's check our grid. Now it's, it has grid second number, for example, we can use one, or here we can use the same number one, and you can add anything you want. So, this way, for example, you can create grids with the same numbers on, in one project. Or, for example, if you need to create your uh, sheet with same number, you can do the same thing. So, there are many, many different ways to use these shared parameters.